Okay. Let's hop right into it. All right. Okay, everything looking good? Hold up. I am messing around with a little bit of uh, improved audio settings, so it should maybe sound different. Well, maybe it shouldn't. It's a very subtle change that I made, but it should be an improvement. Okay. So let's get started. Let's get actually. Let's get right into it. So I've been meaning to unbox this stuff for a while now. But it's just uh <sighs> it just wasn't time yet. I needed to work on other stuff. So this stuff, this box has been here for a while now. Uh, how long? I actually don't know. Probably like half a week. Not that long, I guess. But here it is. This is a package from Divini Key, which is a keyboard, like a mechanical keyboard parts distributor. They handle a bunch of different parts for mechanical keyboards. If you're ever uh, looking to get into the mechanical keyboard hobby, Divini Key is a pretty good, a pretty reputable distributor, I think. Their packaging looks pretty similar to other distributors. I think it's like a trend. For example, I... I, I also ordered another thing from mechanicalkeyboards.com and they all have some similar tape. They, uh, all, they all share similarities. In terms of just the packaging, the outside packaging at least. Okay. Let's open this up. There may be some stuff in here that may dox me, so like a packing slip. So if I do end up seeing, I'm probably going to switch the camera angle after I open this up just in case, and then I'll switch it back. Yep. And then over here. Wait. It didn't really center the tape. Okay. So the opening is like over here on the left side. Come on. Uh-huh. I'm gonna lower the music volume just a little bit. All right, hopefully nothing, nothing that could dox me, right? Hello? Nothing? Let's put that knife out of the way and then Switch camera angles real quick. Let me take a peek at what's inside. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, they usually include like a packing slip, right? Like a little invoice slip. Oh, there it is. Let me just grab that and take that out. Ah, yes. Don't want to show that. I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing for the other package. Let's uh, make sure there's nothing else. Mm-hmm. Okay, looks good. Looks safe. <laughs> Let's switch back. All right. So we've got some brown paper packing material. Let's toss that. Yeah. Okay, so a few things. This. What is this? How do I open it? 
This is a, um, a little grabby tool. I don't know how to open it, though. Oh. Is that how? You just pull it? It's held together by friction, I think. Oh! So... I think you needed to buy, like, a certain amount of stuff to get free shipping, so I ended up buying one of these as a filler item. Which is still going to be useful, because... This is one of those quality of life items. So if you have a switch, yeah? If you have a keyboard switch like this and you're looping them, having this tool is useful because what you do when you loop a switch, you take this whole thing apart and you end up having to uh, loop the stem portion, this yellow bit right here. It comes out as, it's separate, as a separate piece, right? And what people do in the hobby is they use one of these tools, one of these like claw, claw, claw grabby tool thingies. The stuff that you see in like uh, the vending machines. One of those grabby tools. Hello? Focus? There you go. And they do this kind of thing. Eh. And then they use it to hold the stem and lube and lube it. Useful little tool. I'll probably find some other use for this too. It's probably, I don't know. If you have something stuck uh, somewhere in like a little narrow spot, you can possibly just stick this in, grab it. It's a grabbing, it's like an extension grabby arm. Okay, anyways, let's put this back in the packaging. I wasn't expecting such a nice packaging for this thing. I thought it was just going to be in like a plastic bag. But no, it gave me like a plastic uh, rectangular prism thing. <laughs> Keycaps. Oh boy, here they are. What are these? These are the NP crayon keycaps. Hey there, hot potatoes. Oh wait, I have the wrong chat overlay. Give me a second. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Hold up. I need the right chat overlay. Hmm. Where is it? Also, oh, the music is quiet again. Let me do that. Add. Browser source. Add existing. Boom. And then, boom. There we go. There we go, there we go. Alright, these are the keycaps that I just re- or didn't, I didn't just receive them, but I, sh I received all these- all this stuff a few days ago, but I'm now only unboxing them because I can finally justify taking off the keycaps off of my previous- on my keyboard right now that I'm using. Because I'm, I'm working on like content for it, so I needed to use the the included keycaps, so now I can finally change it. But these don't they don't come organized, unfortunately, but these are just the alphas for the NP crayon keycap. And the nice thing about these are the colors. I, I specifically got these because of the color scheme. The pink and purple on white look great. And the little novelty keys are actually really cute too. We have a little little ice cream novelty keys. It'll be great. I'm I'm thinking of combining a few different keycap sets to make a unique look. Uh, some various stabilizers, some Duroc plate mounted stabilizers. Because I need these. These are supposed to be higher quality than the included stabilizers of the pre-built keyboard that I have. And then, ooh, the mini key gives you a little sticker too that's very shiny. And then, uh, the main star of the show. 
The KBD fans. NP Crayon keycap set. This is the entire keycap set, which is why it's in a box. Hey there, Momo. Good after good evening. It is evening. It's not that early. I'm right on time. Ooh, the, the packaging is really tight. I like it. Makes it feel like quality. Good afternoon for you guys, I guess. Yes, good afternoon. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I, I gotta wash my hands. I don't want to dirty these keys. Wait, why is this upside down? What the heck? I can't grab it. Wow. Oh. So, if you aren't familiar with keycaps, keycaps are what go on top of each key on a keyboard, right? And if you aren't aware, there's a entire, there's a huge market of uh, custom keycaps like this. Or they're not really, uh, well, yeah, custom keycaps. The main point of them is to, cr is to uh, provide a unique look to your keyboard, but know that there are different keycap profiles as well. If you take a look closelier, you may notice that these keycaps are actually relatively flat compared to the uh, uh, usual keycaps that you would find on pre-built pre uh, keyboards. Like I'm trying to orient it so it's like vertical so you can see like the, uh, the keycap surface. You can see it's kind of sculpted inward, it's kind of concave, but it's mostly flat. Compared to like, um, uh, da, da, ba, da, ba, da, ha, da, ha, 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 well, compared to, let me just grab a keycap, compared to like this. You can see how this is like more sculpted. And then I'll take, uh, this is an F8 key, right? This is also an F8 key. Yeah. See? These are both F8 keys. This is an F8 key from a Logitech G710 Plus. This is like a your usual keycap that you would find on any pre-built keyboard. And then here's an F8 from the keycap set that I just got. So flatter. It's uh, not as tall. You can see that, yeah? And it's flatter. Less angled. Anyways, very cool. Very cool. It looks like it's gonna fall out and I'm getting anxiety. Yeah, that would, that would suck if it fell out. <laughs> hey, Mingy, what's on the back of the plastic packaging? What are you, huh? The back of this plastic packaging? I'm looking underneath, there's nothing. Are you trying to get me to flip it over? Good one. Good one. Okay. So because this includes the entire keycap set, there are so many keys. So many keycaps. There's three layers. Holy. Look at that. Look at the uh, look at all the different space bars. What the heck? I've never seen this. Wow. So if you aren't aware, there are different sized space bars that keyboards will use which is why there are so many different space bars and then these are all the novelty keys very cute the hearts the x's that's a that's a padlock it's not a pacifier i thought it was a pacifier at one point but that is in fact not a pacifier <laughs> that thing that's not a pacifier Okay. Wait, is that a mark? Is there a mark on this space bar? You're kidding me. 
quality control. It's non-existent. Hold up. Can you see that? Oh, wait, it's kind of overexposed. You can't really see it. Hold up. There's like a mark on it. I can't rub it off. What the heck? This is scuffed. I want a refund. Bruh. You see that little mark? Alright. Maybe it'll clean off with some alcohol or something. Wait, am I missing a keycap? You see this? Wait. No, no, no. I'm not missing any keycaps, right? Why are there empty spaces? Those are four arrow keys. That's like a backspace. Some keyboards have a 1U backspace. And the U stands for unit. One unit backspace. Um... The length of the keycaps are measured in U's. I don't, I don't know why. Well, for reference, this is like one U. All these are one U. And these space bars are like 6.25 is like standard. 6.5, I think. I'm not sure actually. And then this is probably like a seven U. And then, is that it? Okay, okay. Keycaps make feel like the tulips the Dutch had back in the old days. I don't know what you're talking about. That's that keycap set. Hold up, I've got to, I've got to change some camera settings. There we go, much better. We're going to put these on later. I still have another box to open up. Okay, that's good enough. <clears throat> eh. All right, and now for the final package. This is a box from mechanicalkeyboards.com. All I bought from Mechanical Keyboards is a keycap set and a space bar, a little novelty space bar. In olden times, Dutch economy was based on tulip bulbs for a hot second, and then the economy crashed because people put value in something that had no value. <clears throat> what? The economy was based on tulip bulbs? Like, what's what are tulip bulbs? Is it just the head of the flower? Of the tulip flower? You're kidding me, right? Bruh. The root of the tulip before it sprouts. That's crazy. People were that obsessed about tulips. I mean, I can appreciate a good tulip. I like flowers after all. Oh, I might have to change the camera angle for this one too. Hold up, quick transition. Okay, I gotta take the packing slip out, guys. I don't want to dox myself. I'm sorry. Oops, I just moved. Oh, gosh. Ah! My audio! I unplugged my headphones. My earphones. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Take out the packing slip. Where's the packing slip? Wait, why did they rubber band this? Also, it doesn't fall out. So it doesn't open during shipping. That's a nice touch, but completely unnecessary. Why did they staple this to the packing slip? Bro. Okay. Truly 
scuffed. <gasps> they gave me a customer coupon. Yo, that means I have to buy something else. A 5% discount? Oh my gosh. Okay. I removed the packing slip. <clears throat> Start things off. Let's remove this paper. Hang on, I think my... Okay. Okay. To start things off, I'm going to reveal the space bar. This unique novelty space bar that I bought. It has its own little... Oh, I thought it was like an acrylic plastic packaging, but it's just like a cheapo flimsy plastic packaging. Ta-da! I mean, he's trying for once to not dox himself. I mean, I'm okay with showing my face, but not my address. Ah. <laughs> uh. How's the print job on this? I'm actually not sure. Looks pretty good. Kind of blurry, but that's okay. That's to be expected. I mean, why is there like a, a little blue spot over here? It's kind of blue. That's kind of scuffed. Uh, what else? So I was worried about this space bar because it's a different keycap profile compared to the NP keycaps that I bought. This is a cherry profile space bar. But I don't think it matter I don't think it'll matter that much. It looks pretty flat to me. Looks like it's a little bit taller on one side though. So I don't know. We'll see. Mr. Strimmer is so obsessed. Hey, you can thank. Uh, thank Chubby for being one of the contributing factors of me getting more into this. This is a, tri this is a tribute to Chubby. Use code CHUBS, C-H-U-B-Z, on mechanicalkeyboards.com if you're buying anything from mechanicalkeyboards.com. Anyways. The next keycap set. We have a KBD Fans NP Electronic Game Keycap Set. MechanicalKeyboards.com is actually really nice. They included a little rubber band just in case. I don't know how they thought this would open by itself. But just in case, they rubber banded it so no none of the keycaps would go flying and get disorganized. Come on. Free rubber band. Hey. I'm not complaining. I like rubber bands. After all, I can make a rubber band gun. <laughs> you guys ever do this? You know how to? Stick them up. Hands up. Open this. Oh yeah, let's put this knife away. I don't need this anymore. Just in case I cut myself. Open. I just want to take a look at these NP electronic keycaps. I'm not actually planning on using these on my, my personal keyboard. Yeah. Okay, but these are really cool too. I like uh, I like the design. These are another white keycap set. Let's take a little zoom. This is another white keycap set, but the font is a little bigger, a lot bigger actually, compared to uh, the other one. 
I'm not a huge fan of the alphas. The alphas are like all the, like the one, two, actually no. What are the alphas? The, the letters and the numbers? Are those the alphas? I don't know. But the alphas are a little bit too big in size to my liking. Actually, the entire font used on these keycaps is a little big. But that's okay. I still like them. Let's take a look at the novelty keys. Hmm. Uh, they're all video game themed. I don't know why. Is this a reoccurring trend? Is this supposed to be upside down? This keycap was on this like the same keycap in the same position in the other set was also upside down. So I'm not sure. Why is it upside down? Okay. <laughs> Hmm. If you like the little gamer controller art, the little clip art of the video game references, the triangle, circle, square, and X, the little racing wheel, the joy, the joystick. I don't know why there's a TV there. What is that? I don't know what this is. Hey there, Kylo. What's happening here? We're unboxing a bunch of keycaps. Keycaps for mechanical keyboards. Do you know about mechanical keyboards, Kylo? These are the stuff. These are the keycaps that you put on top of each key or switch. What is that supposed to be? Is that a zero? Wait, huh? I'm so confused. What? <laughs> Oh, the novelty keys. Look at them. They're all so cute. Very cool. We have a, a smaller space bar. Enter key, caps lock. Little key. A shield. A potion. Star. Mushroom. I don't know what that's... Oh, what is that supposed to be? Like a timer? A stopwatch? Sword? Heart. And then a bunch of 8-bit characters. Cool. A green shell. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's put them back. I just wanted to take a look and inspect them. These look good. They look all they all look pretty clean. No marks. Looks cool anyway. Good. I'm glad you don't know anything about mechanical keyboards. You should never get into this hobby. Stay far away from the mechanical keyboard hobby. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. So they can be easily flipped over, it looks like. There goes the control key. Oh, I lost control. Haha, <laughs> get it? The control key fell out. I lost control. <laughs> oh, it's for the only one I see? Good one. Good one. Come on. Okay, we're gonna put this away and we're actually going to bring back the keycap from earlier, the keycap set from earlier. We're gonna take our keyboard. My keyboard isn't currently plugged in right now. All right, this is my keyboard. I wanted to replace the original keycaps. All right, so these are the original keycaps that came with this Royal Kludge RK68. All right. And the plan is to replace them with some of the keycaps in this KBD Fans NP crayon set, as well as these NP ice creams, alphas. So let's do it. And we're going to replace the space bar with this little... Um, 
what what is this character called again? This little novelty space bar. We're gonna replace our space bar with this. Also, ooh, you look handsome today, Mingy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You can see my hands, right? My hands look handsome. Wait, can you see my reflection from the wristwatch? There is no way, right? Ayaka is coming out soon. She is. Kylo, have you been saving? You're, it's finally time for you, right? Oh, that's oh, that's why it was upside down. I flipped it over. I swear I flipped this over, right? It flipped back upside down somehow. How the heck? Now we can't see from the wristwatch. You didn't even show it until now. Oh, right, because my hand is like this most of the time. But what if? What if? Oh, I'm directing it straight at my face right now. What if? What if? What if? Might be too small. <laughs> I actually have to set this aside. Oh, yeah, I keep hitting my mic. My other mic. You can't really hear it. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to take apart this entire keyboard or the entire keycaps the keycap set from this pre-built so i took a picture of this just in case i need to replace the keycaps so i know the orientation of every key i'm so hyped i have anxiety <laughs> you'll get her you'll get her kylo I believe. Have you been saving up your primo gems? Do you have the resources? When Inazuma comes out, how many primo gems are we going to get? Spread throughout all the different events and the exploration primo gems. There's going to be a lot of primo gems to be had, right? So, you should be able to get Aika pretty easily, relatively. 100% and with 36k primos, holy! Oh, you're, you're, you're gonna get like C1 Aika. I kind of want Ayaka too. I still don't know who I'm really going to pull, honestly. Because <laughs> again, I don't need more characters. I probably need weapons. Pain to win. Nah, T5 constellation equals pay to win. C5? Wait, really? What? Wait. T5. I'm 50 50 in weapon, too. I'll try weapon. Did they even announce the weapon banner, though? They said they were going there were going to be new weapons, right? But. They didn't announce, they did not announce what weapon will be first, what five-star weapon will be first.
Probably Miss Splitter because it's a sword and Ayaka's a sword user. Makes sense. Putting Ayaka's sword on the weapon banner at the same time Ayaka's a raid up character on the limited wish banner. Okay. Oh man. Been saving for the last 160 days? Really? 160 days? That's crazy. I can't save for that long. That's like, oh gosh. It's like over five months. You haven't wished for over five months, really? A friend of mine has been saving since the Zhongli banner. The first one or the second one? I'm assuming you're talking about the first one. Do a live stream during the summons. Ooh, good luck. It's a proven fact that if you live stream your summons, you get improved luck. <laughs> you get luckier when you live stream. I refuse to believe such a thing is true. Try it, Hot Potatoes. The next time you wish, just go live. Just go live. One oh two heart rates. Is Mr. Streaming okay? I'm okay. I'm just moving. I'm using my muscles. It's also kind of hot. I have two lights shining on me. Pulling up keycaps is hard work, you know. Sometimes... They get stuck depending on the switch that you have them in. Sometimes you end up pulling the entire switch and keycap out because the, the, uh, the fit is so tight. Uh, Mingy, what did you do to your camera for it to be like that? What do you mean, Kylo? To be like this? My camera is positioned, it's like mounted, you want to see? I don't know how to show you, actually. No. See? Look at the reflection in the, in the phone. It's, it's like above the table. It's mounted with like a, an attachment to my, to my monitor mount. Now tilt the phone downward. Okay. 
Oh, wait. Oh, okay, never mind. It's fine. All right, ready? Hello? Where am I? How come I don't see myself? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Wait, my reflection isn't showing. I'm a vampire. I don't have a reflection. What happened to my reflection? Mingy is a ghost. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. A ghost that really likes garlic, though. I like garlic. I also like... Um, well, it's something that ghosts like doing. Up you go. Haunting people? Not all ghosts like haunting people. It's just that the ghosts that you see in media are portrayed as haunting people, as, as like... as that right you haunt me what I don't haunt you I've never haunted you also Mingy show the reflection of the phone showing the cam <laughs> I could also pull up the selfie camera. That would have been better, probably. Mingy looks very huntable. How do you catch a ghost? I've never watched the... Uh, what's that TV show, or is that a movie? What's the show where they catch ghosts? Ghostbusters? I've never watched Ghostbusters. That sounds cool. Cat ghosts? Cat ghosts scare you? Hmm. Do you guys believe in ghosts or superstitions, like signs, bad omens, that kind of stuff? I don't really. I saw all the stories, it looks creepy. Hmm. Stories of what? Well, that was a bad, bad idea. All right, we got all the keycaps off. It's time. Okay, so what do I put on? Uh, what was the idea of this again? Oh, right. The idea was to put on these NP ice cream alphas. So I actually, this is a different keycap set, but I didn't buy the entire set. I only bought a few of the, of the keys from the set. So like the letters, mostly. Here's N. Uh-oh. I don't know where N is. Is N here? <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Um. Question mark. Uh, th that. That. M. N? I think. 
Wow. Wow. Ooh. L. Where's L? Okay, enter is here. That means one, two, L is here. I have the guaranteed pity, supremacy. Yeah, you're ready for Ayaka. 100%. You don't have to win the 50-50. You, you don't have to worry about the 50-50. That's the dream right there. Okay, we have seven, six. Maybe I should organize all of this first. Hmm. Okay, escape, oops. Escape one, two, right? Is that how it was? Let me just look at the picture. I took a picture of the, uh, wait, I can just, <gasps> I'm a genius. I can just look at what's underneath. Because it, or, I organized it, check it out. So escape one, two. Oh, so smart. Come on. On you go. Oh. Wait, that's a different two. Oh, just kidding. This is a two for the numlock. <laughs> or I mean the numpad. I was like, hey, hang on. How come these... How come this two doesn't have a... Uh, the hiragana? The Japanese letterings, too. Please come off. Oh, it's a really tight fit. Okay. So I'm not going to be using that. E. Where does E go? E goes here. Come on. D. D goes here. Perfect. W next to D or E. J on the right side. J goes here. Z. I'm familiar with where Z is. Osu Gamer. You will need to apology to me. I'm going to bed. Wait, what? Why do I need to apologize? Good night, Kylo. You're going to bed pretty early, huh? 11 p.m.? Oh, maybe that's not early. That's not really early, I guess. That's a good time to go to sleep. Bye-bye, Kylo. Good night. Wait, is this where P is? No, it's not. Web class. Ooh, you have to wake up early for class. Good luck, Kylo. Get that rest. Wake up feeling well-rested for class. Five. R T. Uh, five is the six. Okay, from the left. It's this one. Wait, what the heck? Why is there like a mark on the five? Oh, this is for the numpad. <laughs> There's like a raised uh plastic bit. I'm like, wait, hang on. All oh, right, that's for numpad. <laughs> That's for the pad. I feel you. I feel you. I gotta sleep at 11 and wake up at 8 for class. Good. Hey there, Chubby. Did you finally lube up all your switches? Yes. After like three days of doing it. Three separate days and three different occasions. I finally completed. Lubing up all 68 of these red switches. And then I'm gonna have to do them. Okay. Then I'm going to have to do it again for 68 of these Gatoron Yellows. Ooh, that'll be fun. Hey, does anyone want to lube switches for with me? <laughs> uh, do some cool hand movements. 
cool hand movements. Okay. Um, you guys, ever, you guys know what tutting is? Ready? This is cool, right? Is tutting still cool? Uh, uh, I can't really do it. And hang on. Wow, it's like a wave. Okay, I can't do it that way. Okay. I don't know about you, but routine movement is enjoyable for me. Routine movement? So like, exercising? Exercise is fun. You're just old. Wait a second. Tell me something I don't know. I know I'm old. You don't have to tell me. I can crack my knuckles by turning my hand into a fist. Wait. Kind of like that. Oh, can you guys see this? Can you make your thumb dance? I can't do it with my I can't do it with my left thumb. I can do it with my right one though. Yeah, you can do that too. What the heck? Wait, hang on. What are some weird body things that you guys can do? You guys, you probably have talked about something like this with your friends before, right? Or with anyone? I forget what else. What else can I do? Um. Um. Oh right, for some reason, my left ring finger like locks. Do you see that? Oh, you can hear it too. Doesn't I can? The only reason why I've noticed this is because whenever I play piano, this kind of gets in the way. I wonder if there's any surgical procedure to fix this. It's really annoying. It makes playing piano a little bit harder. I can burp on command. Is that weird? Yeah. That kind of stuff. Burping on command. Uh, doing like one-handed clapping. Doing this thing. Four, five, six, seven. Wait, that happens to my right pinky when I scroll through TikTok? What, this thing? Your, your pinky locks up? I don't recommend surgical hand procedures. That's how a lot of pianists lose the ability to play. Monka W. Have you heard of horror stories, Chubby? What kind of what kind of stories have you heard about? What happens exactly? Uh, quotation marks. This one. I've heard there's like a procedure to remove the webbing from your fingers to make them appear longer or something, or to make it like to make you more flexible. Like you see, like most people have like some kind of a little bit of finger webbing every, uh, in between every finger, right? Isn't there like a surgical procedure that like cuts that, removes that? Is that what you're talking about? If you guys could poop in my live when, wait, poop? I'll poop in your live. I'll pop you pop in, into your live when I will do the Aika summons. It would be great. You all mean special to me. Aw, that's very sweet of you to say, Kylo. Kylo. You can announce it in the Discord. I'll also follow you right now. How do I follow you? Just kidding. I'm not a boomer. I'm not that big of a boomer. Let me just go to Twitch. I was asking how to follow through OBS, but I don't think I don't think you can do that.
This is just a piano challenge video. When that procedure fails, you can't play afterwards? Wait, what the heck? That's scary. Especially if piano's your livelihood. That's like instant depression if something like that happens. You've been playing piano for your entire life all of a sudden. Oh, sorry, you can't play piano anymore. We messed up. You just gotta live with it now. No more piano for you. But that's all I know how to do. Yeah, sorry, no more piano for you. Oh. Sag. You know what's also instant depression? The moment you lose 50-50. <laughs> Good one. Oh yeah, Chubby, check it out. <laughs> Look what I got from mechanicalkeyboards.com. Wait, please tell me this fits. Okay. You bought from them? Wow, yeah. Using code CHUBS, C-H-U-B-Z. If you use code CHUBS, you get something special. M four oh gosh. Wait. These keycaps. I was expecting high quality from these keycaps. But you can see the plastic uh where it came off of the plastic molding. Oh it's kind of overexposed on camera right now, but there's like a little there's not completely flat on the edge right here. Oh you can see it now kind of. That little raised plastic portion on the edge, that's where the molding, that's where it broke off of the molding. Wow, Mingy used Chubby's affiliate code. <laughs> I had to. After all, Chubby was one of the driving factors that got me into this mess. Wait. Okay, it goes this way. Is Momo a bad omen for Chubby or something? Yeah. You guys got beef or something? Or are you guys just memeing all the time? You and your memes. Mess? My bad, what did I do? Chubby. This is partially your fault. 
ever since the stream where you announced that you were affiliated with mechanicalkeyboards.com, I was like, it's time. Well, I was trying to keep away from this hobby, but it's time. And now look what you made me do. I'm actually not a huge fan of this space bar because if you look closelier, you'll see that this white isn't actually the same white as these other keycaps. It's like a gray. It's kind of whack, not gonna lie. It's kind of whack. I'm probably gonna take it off at some point. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Uh, tilde. Do I want to use tilde? I have to. You asked if you could cook me a meat dish the other week. I'm vegetarian. Wait, what? Good one. Funny, funny, punny. I'm going to officially renounce my affiliation with mechanical keyboards? No! What the heck? You can't back out now. You coward. I'm already in this mess. Backing out now is not going to help me. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help anyone. Well, it may help people who might also fall into the mess that is mechanical keyboards. <laughs> is this where this goes? Uh, wait, this is the same thing. Wait, these are the same thing. But one is 1U and the other one is like 1.5U. Oh. No, tilde goes on the other side. You're wrong, Momo. Momo, you're wrong. This keyboard doesn't have tilde on the other side. What's on this side is just escape. You see these keycaps over here? The keycaps over here were from the original keyboard. My tilde is on this side. It's a, it's a different layout. This is a 65% keyboard layout. Chubby is allergic to caffeine. Oh, okay. Wait, is that real? Are you actually allergic to caffeine? Guess I gotta give you more subs and apology? No. That's not how that works. My keyboard had tilted on the other side. Yep. Why do you want me to be alone forever? You leave your children. Chubby isn't allergic to caffeine. She re she's rejecting my date proposal. I don't understand how those are related. I don't want to go on a date with you. You're not into girls. You're not into Momo. JK. I know where K is. If I know where J is, and if I know, if, or if I know, if I know where either one of these are on the keyboard, I can find the other one because they're right next to each other. JK. Haha. -ha. Just kidding. Wait, this feels really unique. I've never used these uh, keycap profile, this keycap profile before. 
this NP keycap profile, which is supposed to be similar to XDA, allegedly. I'm not using that. You. Where does you go? Here? Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Where's my keycap puller? Oh god, okay, it's a mess. I don't know where my keycap puller is, so I'm gonna have to pull this out with my fingies. Just kidding, I know where it is. Just kidding, I don't know where it is. Oh god, where did it go? Oh, oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Literally right in front of me. Ah, okay. I didn't say I wasn't into girls. Oh, okay. All right. Note taken. But dates could be just an opportunity to learn about others. True. Then again, I know nothing about dating. I'm just saying true to feel included. Well, anyways, bye. <laughs> Goodbye, chubby. See ya on our date. <laughs> OMG, wait, Mingy, do you want to know something about dating? Uh, um, sure. I like learning. I learned about dating from my summer school classes in which I paid no attention to. Wait, you learned about dating? There was a dating class from your summer school? Am I understanding that correctly? <laughs> this played already. Give me the full version if you're going to play this again. What the heck? It's... It's stuck on replay. No, 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 no. Playlists. Um, playlist. Play all. Okay. Okay, then let's go on a date. Then we can both learn about dating. No, I thought you were gonna, like, just tell me, like, in text form. I don't want to learn through practical experience. Hey there, Datman. <laughs> also, your V key is in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. How's about, how about that, huh? You're in the wrong place. Is it? Wait, it, it is. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Soon as Mumu comes in, it gets wild. Mumu, Mumu has been here for a while now. When isn't Mumu wild, huh? Feels like Mumu is always wild. Hello, Moo Thick. Good evening. Wait a second. Because Tilda... Wait. Oh. Here's delete. Okay. Um... Wait. <laughs> I don't think this is... 
Where's page up? Oh, this is awkward. Okay, never mind. We're not using we're not using the NP ice creams for the right column because I don't have the right keys for it. All right. Instead, we're going to probably use the NP crayon. There's also the option of just putting novelty keys on this side, but I like knowing what I'm pressing. Why does that music sound familiar? This is Kamado Tanjiro no Uta from Demon Slayer, episode 19. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Da -da. Da -da -da. Also, this is a zero. That's not O. Haha. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, what are the lyrics? Do, 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 What's here? What am I missing? I'm missing the uh the um the greater than sign. Here it is. Um what else am I missing? I'm missing minus and plus. Here it is. Is this it? Yes, it is. I was sitting here since you started, then Mumu comes in a skin, asking to go on a skin, <laughs> asking to go on dates while in. Yeah, Mumu was trying to be smooth. I respect the attempt, I really do. I saw where you were going. Like, the moment you dropped the... What, what, what did you say first? The moment that you said, uh... The moment that you asked, Hey, do you want to know something about dating? I realized, wait. This is a setup. I know it is. So I, that's why I hesitated. That, that's, that's why I was like, uh... And then I was like, sure! Yeah, I love learning. <laughs> hmm. I remember trying to learn this song in the wind song liar. Ooh. What happened? If you just said you tried, that means you didn't finish it, right? How come you didn't finish? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Man, I still remember episode 19. I get the chills every time I think about it. Such an emotional an emotionally powerful scene. Ugh. I still haven't watched the Demon Slayer movie. I need, I need to do that. Where does this go? Alright, this is the same thing as this. I think I'm done. Mm-hmm. That's it. Everything else is in a different size or for the numpad. We're just novelty keys. So we're switching now to... Ooh, our original keycap set. The NP crayon. Nothing beats Sanguivory's dragon these nuts on your face joke when we talked about the Chinese zodiac signs. That was a good one. <laughs> you got that got one. That one got me good. Wait, Sanguivory, your Chinese zodiac, uh, your Chinese zodiac sign is dragon, really? And then Sanguivory was like, yep, dragging these nuts on your face. <laughs> got him. Yeah, they got, that one got me good. Okay. Here they are. Again, these are the NP crayon. NP is the keycap, uh, the keycap profile. And then the crayon is the keycap name. I've already oiled these up. My fingers have oil on them for some reason from probably touching these switches because these switches are lubed up so they're kind of wet with lube. Even though they shouldn't be. 
I gotta wipe my hands again. What was episode 19 about? You don't... Uh, wait, what? You don't remember what episode 19 was? Episode 19 was the one with the really emotional song that played during the... Uh, well, I don't really want to say because there's spoilers. What are, pe what are there people who haven't watched Demon Slayer yet? Hmm? So even though these are keycaps from two different sets, they match pretty well, I would say. Not exactly the same color, but that's okay. Alright, then we have tab. We have caps lock. We have shift, left shift, to be exact. We have control code. Wait, what the heck? Code? Uh, I guess I'm using this for the Windows key. Wait, what's Alt-GR? I don't know what GR stands for. What's Alt-GR? Does anyone know? Ooh, this is really weird. I'm not sure if I like this anymore. <laughs> huh. This keycap profile, it's really flat. Like, if you look at it from a top bottom, it's like flat. Whereas if I had these keycaps on, you would see that there's like, well, actually, if you looked at it from this side, it would be easier to see that it's flat. It provides a, a very unique typing experience to say the least. Is going to be something that I have to get used to. <clears throat> Mr. Datman have yet to watch Demon Slayer if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. Uh, Alt Gur. <laughs> it's even flatter than Hu Tao's chest? Bruh. You deserve a timeout for that one. How dare you? Don't make fun of people's chests. Did I just hear who Tao chest? <laughs> okay, that man. She isn't flat, just small. She's still growing. Wait a second. <gasps> this alt. This alt is too big. This is like a 1.5 or 1.25 U alt. But I need a 1 U. Wait. Um, I also need FN keys. Do I just use code for FN? I guess so. But that's gonna make it weird. No, I think I use menu. I think menu is supposed to be for FN. Okay. Wait! That's also supposed to be one U. Oh no. How about control? One control is also supposed to be smaller. Okay, I, I'm done with these, I guess. Um please tell me there are smaller keycaps for those. Okay, good. Ooh. Good. Nice. They're right here. Perfect. I just take them out. All right. 
right, here's the whole assortment of alternate keycap sizes. On this side, you, you'll see all of them. Oh, wait. I forgot about the novelty keys. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to use code for Windows. I actually want to use this thing. Petition the bonk dat man. Go for it. <laughs> I thought we appreciated all chests, no matter the size. Yeah. I appreciate all chests, no matter the size. Whether it's a common chest, whether it's an exquisite one, whether it's luxurious or even precious. I messed up the order. But anyways, I appreciate all of them. Okay, okay, okay. What else are we missing? We're missing, um... Alt Greater. Do I want to use this? This Alt Great... Alt GR? Or do I want to use... Something different? Hmm... Hmm... I don't like the fact that, that there's a GR here. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do... There's a normal alt. And since I only need one of these, I can use this other. I have another 1U alt right here. So this will be on the other side for some symmetry. They're matching now. Great. It's not the size of the boat that matters. Yeah, it's not the size of the boat that matters. It's how large the waves are. I don't know how that translates, though. <laughs> Wait. This one is sick too. This keycap is kind of sick too. Do I use this for the Windows key? Which, huh? What do I use this for? I w These all look so cool, man. Wait. Hmm. I want to use this for something. Do you see this little face keycap? I want to use that for something, but I don't know what to use it for. Do I use it for like tab? Do I use it for shift, left shift, or right shift, I mean. I don't really use right shift, so I guess I could use it for right shift. Why not? Let's use one of these for right shift. Oh wait, there's a lot of space. I don't, I don't think this is the right size. This is definitely not the right size. There's a lot of space in between the keycaps. Never mind. We're taking out. It translates well. Wait, I don't. What's the. I don't get it. It's not the size of the boat that matters. It's how big the waves are. I don't get it. Right shift, right shift. Ooh! Ah. Okay. I think this thing is the right size. I think I'm, I'm gonna use this for right shift. Whatever this thing is, the dots. The colored dots. So, 
This should be the right size. There we go. Looks good now. When you have too many choices, yeah. When you have too many choices. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It's been an hour already, and I'm still putting on keycaps. <laughs> I haven't even opened Genshin. I thought it was, it's the Motino of the ocean. Motino? You mean the motion of the ocean? Well, I think you're talking about something different, uh, Momo. Wait, is this large enough for backspace? It is. Do I use this for backspace? Or do I use the arrow? Hmm. 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 Which one looks cooler? Just the pink arrow to the left or the, or these. Did you just call me chubby? No. No? Huh? You probably just misheard like, um, sometimes when I'm talking for a lot, sometimes when I'm talking for a lot, I build up spit in my mouth and that sometimes makes my, uh, my articulation slip. So that might have been, it might have been that. You might have heard like a ch from the spit in my mouth. <clears throat> so you spit when you said my name. Yep, resin cap is crying. I'm not resin capped. I, I hope. I uncapped myself. I used 20 resin earlier. I do not spit when I call your name. When I say your name. Most of the time. Uh, what do I need? I need Tilda. Where's Tilda? Okay, so I have choices. Where's Tilda? Okay. So I can either use this lame looking Tilda that's just like gray. Actually, it's not a gray. It's like a, it's like a really dark navy blue. And then as for delete and everything else, they would also be the lame navy blue. Or I can replace the entire, the entire tilde delete page up page down with like novelty keys. What do I do? I don't, I rarely use this stuff, right? The only time I use tilde or this key is when I video edit. And then I don't really, uh, I guess I do use delete sometimes. I, I'll remember where these are, right? I'll, I'll remember what these do. That's only four keys to remember. Right? Most of the time, yeah. Uh, what am I? Arrow keys. Wait, is this supposed to be an up arrow? I can't tell. What the heck is this? Wait. I can't I can't tell. What what direction are these arrow keys supposed to be in? I think this is up. I mean it's pointing it was pointing up in the packaging, but what about all these other ones? What the heck? I Uh, 
Um, hmm. Maybe I don't use those. Maybe I should just use the normal ones. I'm struggling. These are supposed to be arrow keys, right? Or are these just like novelty whatever keys? Like, what direction is it, is it supposed to be in? I don't know. Oh, I see it. I see it now. Okay. They're supposed to be kind of like slanted or angled. So this is up key. This is down. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Haha, <laughs> very quirky. They're not completely straight. That threw me off. So only the up and down arrows are straight. And then, uh... The, uh, the right and left are kind of, they're not straight. And then what, am, what else am I missing? Function and control. Okay. Uh, for function, what do we need? The menu key? Do we have a 1U menu key? Uh-oh, we don't. Um, oh, because I have a, uh, like a novelty key here. On this side, I'll put another one over here. Symmetry. Now, which one, though? I have two choices. This one or this one? These are the only 1U novelty keys. I can also use the KBD fans one, but I don't want free ads chubby with a force bonk what the heck why but why this is for momo what she's being horny on main that's for momo wait so i have to bonk momo okay all right i'm gonna bonk you <laughs> wait oh okay ready Prepare yourself. This is for Chubby. Oh, I mean, this is for Momo from Chubby. Oh, sorry, that was twice. You call me Chubby again? No, I didn't. Why does the right arrow key look like it's pointing downwards and the left arrow key pointing towards the right? What? Oh wait, you're right. Wait, no. Wait. No. How you're supposed to look at it is... Wait, hang on. Wait, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Wait, no. I put the... Wait. <laughs> now I'm just confused. No. Wait. Right arrow key looks like it's pointing downwards. I can see that. But if I did it any other way, what would it look like? How do I save this? How do I... Because if I do this... How do I make it look like it's pointing a certain direction? I do that. 
Oh, wait, I do this. Wait. Wait. It's like a freaking puzzle. I see it now. Oh my gosh. I see it. I see it. There we go. It's not supposed to be... Oh. I see now. I have to wipe them off. The grease isn't coming off. Why is the grease not coming off? Just turn 90 degrees counterclockwise from the original position. He's not... He's just rebooting. Rebooting. I'm still torn. Do I want to use this as backspace? If I change this, if I use this for backspace, I'm going to have to change the enter key for like continuity's sake. I think I should though, because I have like the dots here. It'll match with that, right? But then I would have to also change the enter key to maybe more dots. Wait a second, more dots? Like this. But then the shift, right shift and enter would be the same. That would be kind of confusing, no? I think that would be confusing. So, um, how about... How about I do... Oh wait, no, these are different size keycaps. I can't, I can't switch them around. This is my only choice. This keyboard is so cute. I like it too, aside from the space bar. This gray space bar, why is it not a pure white? I'm kind of mad about that. Maybe I'll keep the green arrow. I'll keep the green arrow. Where did this go? Um, okay. Now, where did this backspace come from? Oh. I wanted to add more color into my workspace. So, I got these keycaps. Because I've been rocking with like, black everything for a long time. I've only recently transitioned to like a white computer case and a white keyboard. I used to have a, this is my old keyboard. This is my old keyboard right here. It's still here. It has some orange accents, but other than that, it's all black and gray along with uh, my older computer case. But now I'm, I'm going for like a white and black, a little bit more color. And like, yeah, anyways. Your whole Twitch theme is black and white. It's on brand, true, true. That was, that is what I was going for. I do want to introduce more color though. Soon, TM. Anyways, I gotta I got speed things up. Two hours of putting on keycaps. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what did I wanna use? I wanted to use this, circles. This is going to be for the function button. The Chickies match Chubby's Twitch theme. That was the goal. This is like a tribute to Chubby. The space bar. I'm changing my Twitch theme. No, then I would have to buy a different space bar. <laughs> Just kidding. What do I need here? Control. Every time I turn in school projects, my teacher always goes more color. Wait, like your art projects? Or like, what do you mean? More color? Okay. If you guys want to, you guys can pick my novelty keys. So I have four keys on this side that you can do whatever with if you want. If not, 
then I'll just choose whatever. So these are some of your choices. And aside from those, aside from those, there are also some ice cream. Ice cream keycaps. I'm just going to put these in here. There are also these. These are from a different keycap set. The NP ice cream from earlier. And at last I see the light. Why are you singing? Wait, what is that song called again? A song from Tangled. I really like that song. Like any projects? Wait, any projects? More color? I don't understand. Wait, those are so cute too? Yeah, right? But there's only three of them. That's the problem. How come there are only three? Hmm. Why aren't... If there were four, I would probably 100% use them. But there's only three. Sad. Okay. No preferences? That's okay. I'll probably just choose the hearts then because having three ice creams and then like a heart or an X or one of these things would be kind of out of place. Wouldn't you agree? So what color hearts? Like I don't want to use the hearts. What color hearts? Hmm. Pink and yellow ice creams? Oh, okay. Here we go. Pink and yellow. So two ice creams then. Okay, that's actually not bad. Not a bad idea. How about two ice creams and two of something else? And how do we place them though? Do we... Should we place them like on top of each other? Like every other, every other space? On top of each other, in the middle, on the ends? I don't know. Uh, does anyone specialize in design? <laughs> Any type of design. How do you even know what key is what? I've memorized them. I've already memorized them. There's only four keys. This is tilde and print screen. I actually don't know what the sub keys are. This is tilde though. This is delete, page down, page up. Or page up, page down. I'm too lazy to color, so the entire project is mostly black, gray, and white. But then again, I don't know what colors look good together. Uh, just search up color wheel, hot potatoes. Look up complementary colors. Just look at the color wheel. And whatever color is like opposite of the color that you're looking at, is, they're complementary. And just use that as like a base guide. So like, for example, um, it's also like generally, generally good to have some contrast. So like black and white look good together because they contrast each other very heavily. They're, they're, it's like the biggest contrast, right? Right. White on black or black on white contrast. Um, complementary colors, uh, like blue and orange are complementary, I think. What else is complementary? Green and purple? I forget. Look up the color wheel. Let's try like... Let's try this. Ice creams. Oh, actually. Yellow is closer to green. So I want to put the yellow keycap next to the green enter. And this pink keycap next to this backspace because there's a pink arrow on the right here. Right? I don't know. Colors confuse me. Are you colorblind? Hmm. Oh, I want to be famous? Oh, I'm so sorry. You lost your opportunity. 
Oh wait, we're actually making use of some color signs right now. Or color theory. I think it's color theory. So because there are, there's purple right here, this key is purple, I'm going to be choosing a green heart to try to complement it. It doesn't really match with the ice cream, actually, but that's okay. It's whatever. And then, wait, this is also purple. I don't have another green heart. Oh, yes, I do. But do I want to use two green hearts? Hmm. Do I? Because there's already green over here. I want some contrast. I don't want two colors on top of each other or two of the same color keycaps on top of each other. Um, how about something that complements yellow? Yellow or green? Uh, uh, what do I choose? Let me look it up. What complements yellow? Color wheel. Light blue? You think light blue would be good? I'm looking up the color wheel right now. Hmm. Gonna go eat? Oh, okay, hot potatoes. Enjoy your food. Wait. Violet is supposed to complement purple. Wait, hang on. Am I getting it wrong? Oh, it's red and green that are complementary. Oh. Haha. <laughs> right. It's not green and purple. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> It's not green and purple. Wait. Gonna go eat too? Okay. Let's see what light blue looks like then. Enjoy your food, Momo. Light blue. Maybe I shouldn't use a green heart then. How about a different color? What color? What color? What color? Orange? Yellow orange? Wait, orange. That would look good, I think. <gasps> Actually, that's great. Because now the hearts are complementing each other uh, complementing each other. That looks nice. Good enough. Okay, we're gonna put everything back into the packaging. Into its packaging now. Holy That took a long time. Please, let's get to Genshin. I have stuff to do in Genshin. Back into the packaging it goes. Oh, please. Go back in, okay, yep. Okay. Wait, was the space key custom? Uh, it wasn't custom in the fact that I like commissioned them to make it. It's like a pre-made uh, keyboard or a keycap. You can find it on mechanicalkeyboards.com. It's from this company called KB Paradise. If it was custom made, like 100% custom commissioned, like one of a kind item, it would, it would be less scuffed than this. <laughs> it wouldn't be gray. I would try to match the colors and the keycap profile if that were the case. Because right now, it's a different shade of white. It's not even white. It's gray, right? You can see it on camera, maybe. And the key cap profile is different, too, if you notice. I don't know if you can notice, actually. It's a little bit taller than the other key caps. You see that? A little bit taller. It's sculpted a little bit differently because it's a cherry profile versus NP. But that's okay. It matches the casing, though. Does it? Oh, it's just the lighting and camera. In real life, 
the uh, the casing actually matches the white on these the keycaps up here more, not the space bar. This is a more pure white compared to the space bar. I'm sorry you had to sacrifice your keyboard profile. I didn't have to sacrifice it. I just changed it. I wanted to change it. Oh, but I'm assuming you you meant like... You're sorry that I had to use a different uh, keycap profile for the spacebar, you mean? Okay, now what do I what do I do with all these keycaps though? I don't really want to disorganize them. But am I ever going to put them back on? Nah. Nah. Let's bag them. Let's bag them. <laughs> I had to take the staples out of this bag. There were staples in this. They stapled the uh, the packing slip to this baggie. And this is the baggie that held the uh, the space bar. I'm gonna put all the old keycaps into this bag. All right, first we're gonna... <laughs> oh gosh. They're all disorganized now. That sound hurts me for some reason. Wait, I thought you went to go eat. Also, Momo, aren't you aren't you gonna go eat? Hot potatoes is done eating already. Dang, that was quick. Food is heating. Oh. <laughs> go eat. Try to eat at the same time every day. Try to have your meals around the same time every day. To have consistent bowel movements. Yeah? Yeah, they are. Who wants my old keycaps? Just kidding. I need these. Probably. Just in case. <clears throat> oh, wait. I have to count out the stabilizers to make sure I'm not getting scammed. <clears throat> so this is a space bar stabilizer. This is what goes underneath your space bar to uh, make it stable. That's why they're called stabilizers. So they don't, so that your space bar doesn't tip to the right or the left because stabilizers are there to stabilize your keys because there's only one switch in the middle. And if you don't have the stabilizer, when you press down on the space bar, your space bar would just literally tip over like a seesaw if you didn't have stabilizers. My eating schedule is messed up like my sleeping schedule. Oh no. Oh no. Hopefully, it's not, hopefully it's not too too mixed up. As long as you're eating relatively similarly at the same time. Similar times. You should be fine. Am I a widow now? What about my kids? Wait, what? <laughs> Here's another space bar stab. I bought two of these and then I think seven of these other ones. Yeah. Okay, they're all here. Not getting scammed. I'm not missing any parts, too, I think. Okay, good. All right. Now we can finally jump in. All right. We're going to speed things up. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Do, do, do. Do. Okay, <clears throat> so the thing about this keyboard or about these keycaps is they're not RGB shine through. So you only get the backlighting or the underglow. So it's a little bit less noticeable now, the, uh, the RGB lighting. But that's okay. If you don't care about it, should be no big deal. open up Genshin. I kind of want to wash my hands, honestly. Can I go wash my hands real quick, guys? Why am I asking for permission? This is my stream. Okay. AR fifty six. Um. Da uh, da da da. Um. Oh no, I didn't. I did not think of a Genshin title. Sorry, that's that's what I could come up with. Mingy asking for permission is a bottom move. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Not that I am a bottom. What does it even mean to be a bottom? I actually don't know. I've heard peop people calling others like bottoms and tops. I've just kind of gone with the flow. What does it actually mean? Go wash hands. This is very random, but I can smell fresh cut grass. Mmm. The smell of fresh cut grass. Yummy. I ate that grass. <laughs> okay. It's time for your education. Okay, you guys can tell me after I wash my hands. Give me a second. We're also going to transition to Genshin. Impacto. Come on. Hello? Is the game not... Okay. Whew. Capturing. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna play a 30 second ad. Is that okay? Why did I ask for permission again? Just kidding. I'm gonna play a one minute ad now. BRB. Don't we have a job to do? Everything is negotiable, except over time. Okay, I am back. 
I have clean hands now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that ad for those who got it. I don't know who got it, who didn't. But there are now no more ads for 20 minutes. For, no, or at least no more pre-roll ads. Hot potatoes with a four spunk. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> Mingy, let's look up bottoms and tops. Don't we have a oh, like um, like articles of clothing? Sure. On Urban Dictionary. Oh. Doesn't top and bottom mean your more favored position in sex? Or your preferred? Wait. Is that what it means? Mingy deserves a bonk for this angle. Why? I just, I just wanted you guys to look at Rosaria. And appreciate her character design. Okay. Hang on. Four spawn coming up. <laughs> All right. Work hard and live each day so I don't have the other camera angle anymore for the four spawn. So you're gonna have to settle for this. About, isn't it? How am I gonna do this? This is my first four spawn with this camera angle. Do I just like? That. As you wish, main Fräulein. <laughs> okay. Am I actually capped on resin? Okay, I'm not. Perfect. What do we do today? Hmm. Kazuha. I have all of his skills at, or his talents at six now, so I think I should look up, or look into ascending him. All I need to ascend him are Sea Ganodermas, as well as, as well as EXP books. So let's farm for those books. Let's go to this ley line. I actually already farmed or uh, claimed rewards from one of them before stream. I uncapped my resin, and I ye I did so by doing a ley line outcrop for EXP books. Because after all, you're gonna need a bunch of them for Inazuma characters if you're planning on rolling. Okay. Kazuha. Boom. What? I'm done wishing? No more wishing for me? But why? How are you done? Did you get Kazuha? Did you get Kazuha yet? I did, in fact. Ooh, congrats. Nice. Don't even mention how much EXP books I need. Hmm. You're gonna need at least... Well, depending on how many characters you want, and how far you want to take them, assuming you want to take them to at least level 80, you're probably gonna need over... 300 for each character that you want. So for me, I'm gonna... I'm planning on getting at least one 5-star, and maybe Sayu. So, I'm gonna need like. I'm gonna need more bucks. <laughs> Time to build everyone. You can't run. Boom, boom. 
As one with wind and cloud. Judgment. Time for your arraignment. Motion to compel her. Okay. Mm. Now that I'm using this keyboard, it doesn't feel that bad. Although it does feel different. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. I definitely don't think it's as ergonomic as the OEM profile or the Cherry profile, which is what most pre built come with. This is XDA profile equivalent. Anyways, enough about mechanical keyboards. I've had Xiao Xiao for six months and became usable this month. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, at least you got to it, Momo. Good job. That should be worthy of praise. Oh yeah, Mr. Mingy, don't you need to explore the archipelago? Yep, I do need to do that. Oh gosh, how much... Um, eight days left? Oh, there's plenty of time. There's plenty of time. I actually did the Abyss this month, too. Wow. Wow. Good job. Four days left until it resets. It feels like... It reset recently. But apparently it's already resetting again. Wow. Yeah. Breath of the flame. Wait, where's the last enemy? Oh. I don't think all the keycaps are completely in. Or maybe... No, 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 they are. <laughs> they definitely are. How did it feel? Incredibly painful? It's always that excuse. I'm a new woman. <laughs> okay, Momo. Are you done with my bees for the time being? Oh, bees? What's bees? Oh, BS. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what, what's, what are bees? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, man. I'll never be tired of anyone's BS, okay? I'm a very, very tolerant person. What I'll have you know. I just won't always humor you. Check it out. Healthy Dang. body, healthy mind. Who time? Oh, about time. Enjoy your food, Momo. You said you were going to eat like 15 minutes ago, but now you're finally going to do it, right? Bees as proven by my ongoing rant about losing 50-50s. Bees. Yep. Where are my daily commissions? Okay. It's there in Leeway today. Okay. I needed, I actually needed to get up. So going to wash my hands was actually a good call. Otherwise, I would probably be lower on energy. I needed to stretch and move around. Oh crap. Wait, I've gone you out. No, 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 no. Leave me alone.
Leave me alone. Okay. I don't want Ganyu out. I want to take back Barbara for those friendship points. Butterfly. Oh, that's what his ult looks like without the uh, the weird camera angle. Huh. That's the first time I've ever done that, actually, with Kazuha. Owie. That's close enough to just walk over. We can even grab these artifacts along the way. This will slow things down. Into the wind. You can cancel anyone's animation by standing on water, I think. On water, huh? Okay. Note taken. Noted. Rosari's burst is so cool. The way she kicks down her spear, you mean? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We have to look at it. The next time I use her burst, we have to look at it from uh, the front. I want to see what it looks like on, in the front. I don't think I've ever seen it from the front before. And the frigid ice lance too. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Maybe walking over here was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't realize there was going to be so much climbing. Hmm. It's okay. We're almost there. I messed up. I forgot how to jump away from the rock. It's S and spacebar. Ooh. You hold back and spacebar. Or uh, you hold back and then you jump while you're on the wall. Ready? Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> Too many particle effects. some chinksen when I'm up here I always collect the chinksen you always have to this is like my only source of chinksen <laughs> whenever I have to collect chinksen of course I'll I'll look around the, um, the map but just casually going about this is the only place where I'll go get chinksen Oops, I went on autopilot. 
I was going after the artifacts, but the daily commission is somewhere else. It's over here. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Genshin? Genshin just crashed, I think. Hang on. Technical difficulties. I don't know what happened there. That was a first. It's okay, we're back. We're back like nothing ever happened. We're just loading. We we just went to a different waypoint. Oh no. The real reason why I had to reload Genshin was I wanted a different music track playing in the background. That's how you change it, folks. If you ever want to change your music, your background music, because there are multiple music tracks that play in the background for each area, right? So if you just want to change it, just relaunch your game. Five head. <laughs> Happens to me a lot on mobile. Uh, What phone do you... Wait, hang on. I feel like I've asked this. On mobile... It depends on what phone you have. You said you had like a... What was it? iPhone something. Was it an iPhone? We talked about this a while ago. Oh, look at all that energy. Wasted. iPhone 11? Really? That's not enough? Dang, that's pretty... iPhone 11 is pretty recent. It's pretty... It's still, it should still be pretty beefy. Does it really crash? Hmm. One with nature. Maybe you just have a lot of stuff. If you have a lot of stuff in your storage and you're using your storage to its full capacity, that's going to degrade your performance. So it might be that. Or if you have a bunch of other apps open at the same time. It overheats my phone super quick. Yep. Turn down your setting. Wait, what settings do you play, out, play at? Hopefully you don't play at like really high graphic settings. That'll make it even hotter. It's not high. Okay. Good. Wait, where's my last? Ah, here we go. Guyan Stone Forest. Is this sabotage? It is. Okay. Genshin just ain't a mobile game. Wait, Genshin isn't a mobile game? I thought it was. Yeah, it's not. If only. If only you could get the same graphical experience as you can on PC and console. But no, everything looks like a blur on mobile. It takes so much storage. It really does, huh? How much... How big is Genshin Impact now? Oh man, I can... Oh my gosh. Think about how big it'll be after the Inazuma update. Oh my gosh. Open world games in general? If Mihoyo keeps adding new areas, this game is going to be huge. Holy crap. I wonder what the roadmap looks like. Open world on mobile phones is too demanding. Very few to no phone can handle it. Yep. Soon though. Soon. Maybe soon. Have you heard if you guys have if you guys are involved with tech 
And if you've been keeping up with tech, there are... There, there's looking to be major developments for mobile computing, which could be big for gamers especially. Between collaborations with Samsung and AMD, they're making a... They're making a chip together that could change how we perceive mobile computing. I'm excited for that. We'll see what happens though. As well as Apple. If Apple can get their M1 chip or their like M2 chips in the, into their mobile phones, that would be big too. Because right now there is an M1, if you don't know, Apple makes their own processors now. They used to make, um, I mean, they, they have been making their own processors. Like if you have, if you have an iPhone, you'll know that, or maybe you won't know, but you may know that the iPhones use Apple's, uh, their own a10, A11, A12 bionic chips, right? But now Apple makes... The M1 chip as well for their laptops and iPads. Whereas before, Apple would exclusively use Intel processors in their laptops. But now they have a more powerful M1 chip. And if they make more improvements to that, you could see it, like more power efficiency improvements, more performance improvements, you could see it in mobile phones maybe, and that would be big too. That would be big too. The dream. Genshin open world, 60 FPS, maximum settings on your phone, and it doesn't overheat, it doesn't run out of battery within an hour. That's the dream. Am I done? Uh, I can use another condensed rev uh, resin. That's a tall order? Maybe not. Give it like, I'd say give it like five years. That's doable. That's doable. Well, maybe not, five years is a long time. Maybe like three years. Two years. Two years? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm, five years. Honkai isn't even five years old. Where will Genshin be in five years? Man. Now what? What do I use my resin on? How many heroes' wits do I have? Graphics computing power no longer grows exponentially, so I doubt we will have phones that strong in even 10 years. Yeah, it doesn't... Performance... Computing power doesn't grow exponentially, but we can still make power efficiency improvements. Whether it be tweaking... CPU architectures, GPU architectures... Shrinking in the node... Or what else? What else can you do? Switching to something other than silicon? Because after all, we are reaching the limits of what we can do on silicon. Which are which is the material on what on what our processors use right now, right? Now we'll see. We'll see. Unless you're like really involved in the industry, you may know more. But I don't really know anything about the world or the future of computing. Switching to sixty FPS already puts me at overclocked. How does Genshin perform on the latest Apple Silicon? Like the, uh, what is it? The A13 is it now? Let's look at it. The A13. 
Apple A, oop, Apple, oh gosh, typing with this new keycap set. Apple A, A13? Is it A13 or A14? Which one is the latest one? Um, A13 is in the 11, wait, what? It's A14 already? Jeez. Okay, the A14 is inside of the iPhone 12. Okay. This is their latest SOC for the iPhone and their iPad Air, apparently. But then they have their M1 chip. But they can't use M1 chips in the phone because it probably uses too much power. Um, how does the Apple A14 perform in Genshin Impact, huh? Huh? You guys ever do this? You guys ever look at benchmark videos on YouTube? You're just like, okay. This is how I got into computers to begin with. I was like, what the heck? When, when I first started PC gaming, I would always wonder why some computers would perform better than other, others. And so I learned about the inner workings, the parts that make up a computer. And then I looked up how to quantify their performance. And one of the ways I did it was to watch people playing games on certain certain setups. If they're using that processor, that graphics card, I look up, okay. Intel Core i5 3570 plus GTX 750 Ti uh, 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 Call of Duty gameplay, whatever, right? And that's how I got into it. And that's how you just learn over time. You build like a wealth of knowledge on what computer parts perform at what level. For the iPhone Pro 12, or the, the iPhone 12 Pro, it looks like it runs Genshin Impact pretty well. I mean, that's to be expected, but let me just, just check the settings. Settings, settings. This person, okay, high. 30 FPS, what the heck? Why would you play at 30 FPS? Please switch it to 60. Okay, there we go, 60 FPS. This isn't even the best video. Some videos provide like real-time graphs for this kind of stuff. Also, the audio is super scuffed. It looks pretty smooth to me. 60 FPS, high settings. This looks pretty smooth to me, but then again, the performance isn't going to be like this everywhere. And especially not the entire time you're playing Genshin. Say you're playing Genshin Impact for like, I don't know, an hour. Your phone is eventually going to heat up. And after that time period, it's going to slow down because of the heat to uh, lower temperatures. It's going to do what's called thermal throttling. Uh, Lamau, especially not in Spiral Abyss. Yep. Yep, yep. This looks good so far, though. Like, this is playable. More than playable. Max setting 60 FPS. This might just be like, this guy per probably just launched the game. Yeah, he did. And just started playing. So this is like peak performance right now, but... Hey, not bad. He does have... Wait, I think he pulls out a temperature sensor. Look at that. Cool. Anyways, back to Genshin. Cool stuff. I'm done. What do I do? It triggers me that the charger hole thing is on the right side for the iPhone. Like, wait, what? What do you mean? The charger hole thing? For the iPhone 12? I don't know anything about iPhones. The, well, the way he held the phone. Wait, what? What? What are you talking about? 
That's in the hundreds. Sheesh. 39 degrees Celsius. 39 degrees Celsius isn't that hot, I think. Oh, 40.7. 40.5. It's not that hot. In terms of, uh, well, that's, that's just the back of the phone, actually. So that's pretty hot, I guess. Because it's another story on what the actual processor is running at. Problem is, charging and playing is really going to degrade your battery, too. Mmm, true. Hotter battery. Less life. I'm literally charging and playing right now. <laughs> it's okay. Just get a new phone every two years. Just. <laughs> After all, phone carriers trap you in contracts. Or they don't they don't trap you in contracts anymore. What they do, <laughs> since people don't like contracts. What they do is they provide promotions for a shiny new phone, but to get that special pricing, you have to stay. You have to stay with the phone company or the uh, the carrier for like 24 months, and you get like credits. You get bill credits that pay off the phone. So the credits go towards your bill, and that's how they get you. The phone has safety features, so it won't become too dangerous, but a battery being heated for too long will degrade quicker. Yerp. That's why I don't want to use quick charging. That's why it's not that great to use, like, super fast charging. What she like? I think people misunderstand the point of quick charging. Quick charging is there for when you really need a quick charge, right? You shouldn't do it all the time, okay? You should not use a quick charger all the time. If you're not in a hurry to be anywhere, do not use a quick charger or have like a setting on your. A lot of phones have their own setting now that like limits the charging speed. So if you have like a setting that can that can that you can toggle on and off for a fast charging, do that. Don't charge fast if you don't need to. Your screen is still on YouTube? Oh, crap. My bad. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> That's awkward. Because if you use quick chargers... Your battery heats up a lot. Right? Bad for your battery's life expectancy. One with nature. One with nature. Get away! Oh. The Hilla Trail is a freaking track star. Keeping up with Kazuha? Dang. Almost got me. I already did this. Do I use another condensed resin? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Quick charging technology has actually improved to the point where it does not affect battery performance. 
Well, that's what they say. Doesn't change the fact that your battery still gets hotter the faster you charge it. But compared to the past, it definitely doesn't get as hot at, at like the same wattages, right? Like my Galaxy S21 Ultra charges at what? I actually don't know. I use a... I, I do use a... What do I use? A 95 watt charging brick. Something something marketing gallium nitride. It's like one of those gallium nitride charging bricks that's supposed to reduce the heat output from the charging brick. But it's probably just marketing. I don't know the science behind it. Samsung has that? No, it's like a third-party Amazon one. But I don't use the I don't use the super fast charging feature because the S21 has a a setting that you can toggle on and off super fast charging and fast charging. Like the super fast charging is like 25 watt, fast charging is like 15 watt. And then like um whatever if you if you toggle those off i don't know what it is <laughs> samsung max is out at 25 watts they're very conservative whereas you look towards companies like i don't know oneplus how fast do companies advertise their charging speeds to be now it's like the thing right now isn't it like ooh we got super fast charging speeds by our phone. Our phone can do 65 watt charging. Ooh, 100 watt charging. Like, bruh. <laughs> you can toggle a setting where I think at night it only does slow charging while you're asleep. Ooh, that's a setting. That's cool. To be fair, the Note 7 issue will be on their resume forever. Ah, uh, the... The Note 7. I love me some... Free explosives. <laughs> it's kind of sad because the Note 7 would have done really well, probably. If it didn't get recalled because of that issue. Wait, why am I flying over there? That's a side quest. I had mine for a year. Oh, you have one? <gasps> Wait, do you still have it or did you turn it into Samsung? Did you keep it? Wait, I've always kind of wanted the Note 7 <laughs> just because of its uh, reputation. <laughs> For those who don't know, the Note, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 is a smartphone that was released a while back. You probably heard about the whole fiasco about the Note 7 exploding in people's pockets. It became like a, a thing where if you were carrying a Note 7, you, were, you wouldn't be able to board onto airplanes, stuff like that. Eventually, Samsung recalled the Note 7 and discontinued it forever within like the first few weeks of its release, I think. I don't know when exactly it got recalled. It was quite an interesting uh, story or tale. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to take out Venti. Venti and Kazuha, the ultimate combo. Check it out. Since this doesn't give friendship points, let me just go ham. Yeah? Didn't keep you waiting, Let's take I? out Benny, Kazuha, Venti, Chongyun. Let's go. Yahoo! Into the wind. Think you can get away? Gah. From whence you came, forth my blade. All the needs adorn my knight. But when I was in Korea, I bought the Note FE, which was recycled Note Sevens that were heavily safely checked. Oh yeah, I heard about that recently, actually, within the past few months. For those who wanted the Note 7, or like OG fans of Samsung who wanted the Note 7 but couldn't get it, 
there is the Note 7 SE, or uh, FE, I mean. Or the Galaxy Note Fan Edition. What is it called? Is it just Note 7 Fan Edition, or is it the Note Fan Edition? Anyways, yeah, I heard about that. It's basically the Note 7, but they replaced the internals, right? With, like, actually functioning parts. Or they, like, triple-checked, or, like, I don't know what they did to ensure that it wouldn't blow up. Just Note FE? Oh, okay. Interesting. Also, I gotta do... Uh, I gotta do this. Time for take -off. Not doing too well, I think. <laughs> oh, gosh. Where are the thingies? I'm going in. Brace yourself. Wind strike. As one with wind and cloud. Uh, think you can get away? Here we go. From whence you came, swift and merciful. Brace yourself. One with nature. Teamwork is dreamwork. Clouds high, the birds call. Let me shoot it. I missed. What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. Time for takeoff. This is a really bad score. I can already tell. Spirit wing, attack. A touch of frost. Okay. It's mostly an Asian phone, really? I've wait. Is it not on eBay? I thought I saw it on eBay. On the flea bay. Think you can get away? Doesn't work too well in America. Oh, it doesn't have like the radio bands for it? Dang. For the uh US carriers, phone carriers. Man. What? It disappeared so quickly. Oh wait, that's. <laughs> I just need two thousand. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come 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 come. Think you can get away? One with wind and cloud. All right, I got two thousand. Yahoo! Time for takeoff. Political <laughs> teamwork is dreamwork. Each country has their own radio bands and such. An example is 5G. If you bought a 5G phone in, let's say, Korea, the 5G would not work that well here in the U.S. Oh yeah, I know about that. I, I like researching anything to do with computing. So like, at the same time, or after I... Off we go. Adventure time. Had enough knowledge to like, buy my own phones. I would research the different SOCs, or the system on a chips, or processors in each phone. And since it's an SOC, or system on a chip, everything is like on it, right? So like the Snapdragon, series processors that are found in Android phones. They have their own their own modems now, don't they? Anyways, I had to look up like all the radio bands that I wanted for the certain carrier that I wanted to use it with. So like, for example, Verizon has their own LTE bands. T-Mobile has their own. Slightly different now. Like it's always changing. They're always adding more, sometimes even removing previous ones. Like, 3G is no longer a thing. Crazy. Wait, is this the same spot that I have to be, or do I have to go to another spot? I was looking at, like, uh, budget phones to buy when I was looking for a new phone, before I got the S21. I was looking at, like, the Poco, the Poco Phone F3. Because a lot of new phones released at the beginning of 2021, right? And the one that stood out to me was the Poco F3. The Poco... Yeah, is that what it's called? The Poco F3. Which is only... How much was it? I think it was like $300 USD retail for Asian countries. Of course, after like import fees, international, international exchange rates. It becomes like... 
a little bit over that for US customers like 350 or something anyways it was a really good deal because $350 you get 120 Hertz uh, a uh, 120 Hertz refresh rate screen you get a Snapdragon 870 processor you get like 12 gigs of RAM or was it 8 gigs I forget you get 256 gigs of storage uh, there are probably different configurations but all of that for like around 400 bucks can't beat that but then I realized ah it doesn't have all the radio bands to support US carriers sad not to say that it wouldn't work uh oh but hey if you're in a country where you can get a Poco phone <laughs> or a Poco F3 oh man oh man lucky you then again, you don't need to have cell service. <laughs> if you just get... If you just get the phone... To play Genshin Impact... <laughs> it might still be worth... To use it as like a Wi-Fi device. People do that, right? Do people buy phones nowadays just to use as a Wi-Fi device? There are probably people like that out there. Have a little taste. Some people do that, yeah. I got careless. Oh, I didn't notice it. Nice. Death upon you. Wait. Shoot that. They're all frozen in midair. Not exactly what I wanted to do. I think this is actually slower than if I would use if if I were to use Klee. Maybe I should have just taken out Klee. This was a better idea in my head. Than in, than in, uh, execution. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another <laughs> test subject. Fry. As one with wind and cloud. Teamwork is dreamwork. Fourth, my play. Think you can get away? Wrong way! Venti! Why? Wait, why do they have so much HP, it feels like? Okay, 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 shoot that. Did I hit it? No, I didn't! Another one? Another one? Another test subject? Melt? Big melt coming out. Store some energy for Chong Yun. Shoot that. Gather them. Venti ult. Chong Yun. Well, I got 2,000. That's it. That's all I need. Wait, there's a common chest here. How do I get it? Do I just have to take care of these enemies? Oh, there we go. Nice. Very nice. Two primos, right? Yes. Beautiful. Wait, there are two echoing conches on this. On this uh, island. It's kind of big. 
How many more do I even need? Hmm. Echoing tails, echoing tails. Oh gosh, I need eight more. All right. Where am I gonna find all of these echoing conches? I'm gonna need six more after I collect these though. Just run around and find them all. Oh boy. That's gonna take so long though. Exploration, okay, no, it's not gonna take that long. If I'm efficient, if I just make my rounds, like I've, if I just hop from one island to the next in like a in like a, a clockwise fashion, I should be able to knock them all out pretty quickly, right? Or collect them pretty quickly. Is that how you do it? I should probably take note too of what islands I've been to. Wait, is it on top? Is it? How do I get up? Okay. I just kind of ran around. Oh, okay. Oh, is this the way? Hmm. What time is it? Oh, it's almost bedtime. Please. Kazuha, you're so good. Ooh, another one of these. Yes. Okay. Kaboom ball. Nice. Five primo gems. Let's go. What's our primo gem count at? Ooh, 51, 45. Oh. Mm, you love to see it. The echoing conch should be right here. Oh, there it is. What? You're saying you've been trapped on this island for for generations? Generations. Trapped or not, this is the only life we know. Good God. So are we stuck here now too? Okay. Stuck on the island. Hmm. Oops. Time to go. <gasps> Wait, see Ganodammer, I need those. Might as well take these guys out, collect the chest, and collect those sea Ganoderma. Let's get it. Ooh, wait, there's so much stuff that I haven't found here. Ow. One with my blade. Collect these things. Wait, I didn't mark this place. Let me mark this place. So that I can come back to it if I ever need to. I want more achievements. How many achievements have you done? Wait. I think you can see how many ch achievements people have done, can't you? 314. Wow. That's a lot. <gasps> Fat man is on. F. Chiaki? What does that mean? Is that a spoiler? 239 for a Fat Man. 314. Man, you've been hard at work doing those achievements. I think I'm at like... What am I at? 264. Bruh. How do you have 314 done? Wow. I need those primos, okay. But dang. Dedication. No, just listen to me. There's a huge world out there. Uh, Mondstadt, Liyue, Inazuma. Uh, compared to the size of those places, these islands are just a few pebbles in a pond. L Liyue? What's that? Oh, never mind. Forget it. All right, that's it then. The rest of my life here, eating nuts and berries and waiting around to die. 
So it sounds like there were a group of people who got stuck on this island. Okay. Alright. Let's grab this chest. Boom. 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 Boop. 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 Artifact fodder and Primo gems. Wait. I missed one. Huh? Okay. Let me grab this chest too. Okay. It's a common chest, so it should be easy and straightforward. How do I do this? Uh, how do you activate him? There should be like a platform that you stand... Oh, there it is. Yep, I have to turn this so that it faces that, and that's it, right? Oh, wait, I have to turn this, too. There we go. Perfect. All right. Puzzles. Although this one was an easier one. I want to do more puzzles. I've missed this. Charles. Yeah, time for take off. Go. Okay. Into the wind. Yeah. As one with wind and cloud. Brace yourself. Can we knock this guy into? Nice. We knocked him into the Kazuha ultimate. Everybody stand Boom. Back. Are we missing anything else on this island? Uh, were there enemies at the top? I feel like there were. But I don't really want to go back up. What is that? Oh, it's a... It's a bird. It's a dead bird now. Oh. Mission failed. There's a time challenge here. Ooh, it's a, it's a gliding challenge, 100%. I'm excited now. Let's go. We haven't done a gliding challenge in a hot minute. Yes. Wee. Oh, wait. This sends up all this sends us all the way up. Dang it. I didn't have to climb the mountain. Oh gosh. I lagged. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, a, a thingy appeared. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Nice, that was fun. Please tell me you can activate those, uh, those things again so that I don't have to climb up the mountain. <laughs> oh, wait, we can just use these things. Two. Where's the third one? Hmm. I don't know. I think we're done with this island. Okay, I got a little exploration done on the Golden Apple Archipelago. I still need to do more, but we're going to turn our attention to requests and bounties because that's resetting tomorrow. And I haven't done them yet. I think. Oh, wait. 
Yes, I haven't. Okay. Invulnerable to Hydro and Animo. Darn. If only bounties weren't limited. <laughs> People would be grinding these out so much. There wouldn't be a problem with, with Mora. There ain't no way they would ever do that. Maybe if they increase the limit. Imagine if they increase the limit for... Um, I don't know. Like, what if... Instead of, instead of this applying to all cities, instead of the weekly limit applying to all cities, what if they make it so that each city has their own weekly limit? So, like, Mondstadt will have three bounties, Liyue will have three, Inazuma would have three. That'd be nice. I think that would be reasonable, too. Because each, re each region would have uh, different... They can make it so that each region would have different bounty enemies, too. So, like, in Mondstadt, you fight against Ruin Guards, right? In Liyue, you fight against maybe Geo, like a Primo Geo Bishop. But, like, the big Geo Bishop. And then in Inazuma, I don't know what you would fight against, but whatever. I feel like that could actually be a change that they would make. If enough people pitch the idea to them. Electro plunging attack. Okay. And for the requests too, they could have different requests for each city. Wait, that's perfect. Can we see Mingyu use Electro Kaching? I do not have Kaching built for Electro though. If only. Oh wait, she doesn't have any artifacts right now. Can I put Electro artifacts on her? What if I give her Kaching's artifacts? Maybe this is. But her elemental skill is at level one. Don't you need her elemental skill to be? Do you? What do you need for Electro Kaching? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Electro Kaching. I'm doing it. <laughs> Where is Fischl's flower? Here it is. Auto and Q. Okay. Official, wait, she's using a four-star hourglass? Oh, okay. I gotta change that. <laughs> this electro cup. Mm. 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 Do I have another electro cup? Oh, I do. Wait, what? Where was it? I have it on Lisa. Mm, I think official is better, though. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, do I use Lion's Roar? Yes, right? Too bad Lion's Roar is only at level 80, though. Hmm. That's okay. 1881 attack. 320. What is that elemental mastery? Holy. Oh, gosh. She does not have enough crit rate. She's using, a, she's using a crit damage circlet. Do I have a crit rate one? Oh my, I do. For Yenfei. Let's steal Yenfei's crit rate circlet real quick. Hopefully I remember how to uh, rearrange the artifacts after I put them back. Okay, this is more reasonable. Yo, wait, Electro Kaching ain't looking too bad right now. Her E does a lot of damage too, but probably auto Q E if you are building Electro. Okay. Noted. Let's go. Time is against us. Let's use Rosaria so for the superconduct. The and then let's give her a shield so that she can keep on doing oh, attacks. In the well. Or no 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 no. Zhongli. Sure. Zhongli. Double cryo for the crit rate buff. 
Zhongli for the uh, debuff when you have your shield up on him. This is perfect. This is the party that will let Kaching shine her brightest. Electro Kaching, by the way. I've never used Electro Kaching before. <laughs> Fortunately, we have our local electro kaching expert, Hot Potatoes, right? So, you can guide me if I ever steer the wrong way. Should be pretty straightforward, though. I do the same attacks. Except now I actually want to imbue her sword damage with electro. That man is also an electro kaching user? Oh, wait, I didn't know that. Electro Kaching supremacy, huh? Maybe it's time to convert. All right, guys. What are the reasons why I should convert to Electro Kaching? Rise. You can't run. Don't blink. Nowhere to hide. I gotta use her. Wait, how do I imbue her attack with Electro again? Oh wait, right. I have to do that. <laughs> I forgot how to use her. <laughs> use her E twice. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Wait, she's doing no damage, guys. She's doing no damage. Her physical attacks do more. Guys? This is Electro Kaching. How, how do you guys do so much damage? I've seen your Kaching hot potato. She does mad damage. That's crazy. Does her ult give her additional Electro damage or something? Hmm. Huh. Make sure to keep your enemy applied with Electro. Oh, okay. Six thousand. I'm also using elemental mastery artifacts. I'm using a wanderer's troop, so and a two-piece glad though. Oh wait, that bird is so slow. What is it doing? Where's it going? What the heck? Where's that bird going? You good, bro? Hello. <laughs> oh. Wait, what's Kaching's build again? Uh, two piece gladiator, two piece wanderer. 1809 attack, 291 elemental mastery, 58.8% .8 crit rate, 158 crit damage. Talents, 714. <laughs> I've never seen a bird fly down and land before. Is that new? I didn't know they flew down to land. Or maybe I have seen it before. But not at that not at that slow speed before. That bird was I thought it was glitched. Cause it flew through a tree. That was weird. Right? That was weird. Yeah, you need more crit damage, attack, and auto skill, more leveled up. Gitching is very demanding. Jeez. Okay, all right. But the cool thing about Kaching is you can hit the weak spot of a ruined guard as a melee character, right? Okay, check this out. All you gotta do is that. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? 26,000 plunging, oh my. Right, plunging attacks are increased. That's insane. 67,000. You see that? Holy, I want to do that again. Wait, what happened? Oh, that's awkward. Solidify. Yeah. Punishment. Nowhere to hide. 
Oh god, here's the micro stuttering problem again. You guys remember this? This is a reoccurring issue with this bounty. This one specifically, right? 67, that's insane. It's only that big when you use her elemental skill because it scales. Right. Oh man, the micro stuttering. Unplayable. Boom! Oh my gosh. So stupid. Even when you defeat it too. Even after... Wait, no. Okay, it's gone. Alright, Mihoyo, you, you gotta fix this. You gotta fix that. This bounty. In this area right here, when you fight the Ruin Guard, there's a, a reoccurring issue. I thought it was fixed after 1.6, but apparently not. There's a reoccurring issue where sometimes if you do this bounty, you will encounter micro stutters like that on PC. I don't know how it is on mobile. I don't, does it happen on mobile? I wouldn't know. I think Black Sword or even Lion's Roar could be better than Sweet, uh, Sweet, Freedom Sworn. Really? Isn't Freedom Sworn the, um, the, uh, the weapon that's on the current raid up? This thing? Does this give physical damage? Wait, no, this gives, what does this give? Elemental Mastery, wait, what? Wow. Oh, it's Kazuha's weapon. Hey there, Momo. Welcome back. Doesn't happen to me? Hmm. Hmm. Jade Cutter rerun when? Oh, man. If Jade Cutter comes back, I might have to pull for it. I might have to pull for it. Forget about characters. Forget about limited rate-up characters. Give me those limited rate-up weapons. Especially with the new weapon system, the new weapon banner system. Gimme, gimme. Wait, where am I going? Bounties. Oh snap, Kaboom Ball going away? Wait, oh, oh, oh! Oh my god. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> ah, we're fine. We're fine. I only need to do it a few more times. I can't believe you reminded me, Momo. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. Arigato. I was hoping for the Atlas, but you know, whatever. Skyward Atlas? You'll get it next time, Datman. Are you going to continue rolling? Do you think you're going to roll again? Let's go. If there's anyone else who wants to do Kaboom Ball, let's do it. <gasps> Yul. Yul. Oh. Kaboom Ball is only for two people? Oh, right. It's only for two people. Might be. Let's get it. Doubles. It's like, it's really like tennis then. Because in tennis, you can only do doubles. Right? Wait, how am I missing? Alright. Let's take, let's each take a half. I'll take the right half. How about that? Right half. Yeah, this is how you do doubles. Yeah. That's yours? Wait, this is fun. Oh, this is making me want to play uh, tennis-related games now. Like Mario Power Tennis. That's the only ever... That's the only <laughs> tennis game I've ever played, to be honest. Mario Power Tennis. Oh, I missed that one. Ooh, that was too fast.
We went for that one at the same time. That's okay. Ooh, that was so fast. Oh, that was mine. I missed twice. Why is it that every time I try to join Datman's world, it says Fat Man is unable to enter? Well, that's strange. You're the one that's trying to enter, right? Current player is busy. Oh. He won't let you enter? His world is set to reject all join requests. Is it? Is that what happens? I thought there were... Wait, wouldn't there be a different message? Doesn't the current player is busy mean that they're like in a loading screen or doing something else? yours. Oh. This one's the easy one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the first stage, so this is the easy one. Oh, okay. We don't have the ones with the uh the curve balls. There we go. I think that's it. GG's. Unless Nice. That's good, right? Is that enough for the uh, the first challenge? I actually don't know. Kaboom Ball Combat. Let's see. Perfect. Now we just need to do the second challenge. Oh wait, do I? Yes. Second challenge. Avoid being hit by chili frilly balls. Okay, okay, okay. I can do that. All right, that man, I'm gonna need you to tank every chili ball for me. You're gonna need to jump in front of me, like, uh, <laughs> protect me like I'm the president. Oh, snap, we're starting. Again, I'll take the right side. Oh wait, that's technically my side, right? My B. Boom, boom. Oh, 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 why me? Okay. Oh, here we go again. I'm missing the perfect ones. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 mine. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Those are hard to hit, man. Hey, you missed it too. <laughs> you missed all three. <laughs> oh. to do to not get hit by those is not stand in front of them. I'll just stand to the side while I try to hit them. Is that mine? Oh! No! Oh! No! Oh. Okay, I almost got hit. Pay attention, pay attention. They're spamming us with balls. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Wait, I can switch the zone. Oh, just kidding. I thought I could switch characters. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. A double. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Watch out. Ice balls, chili ice balls. I'm gonna miss this event. It's gone in four hours. 
Yesterday when uh, I looked at the Kaboom Ball timer, I saw that it was one day and four hours to expiring. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Almost forgot about it. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I missed that. I always walk too close forward when I try to hit those. I gotta walk further back like that. <laughs> Not like that. Oh, I got I got aimbot mode on. Okay. Oh. Okay, the final stage, destroy shields two more times. I think that's going to be the hardest one. Wait, hang on, maybe defeat 50 Dota Fortress in total? Wait, I think we're gonna need to do this like two more times. Here we go. The last challenge, the hardest one. Oh, I should have switched to Zhongli. Whoa, okay. There should be a timer before it starts, like a countdown. We're, we just get right into it. I gotta practice ice bridging with Ganyu. <laughs> Wait. With, uh, for Inazuma's arrival? Why Ganyu? Just use Kaya. Oh boy, not the curveballs. Ganyu is really bad at ice bridging. Wait, really? Ice bridging with Ganyu is faster? Do you um, just do a normal charge shot, like a single charge shot? What the heck? How do you do it? Level two? Wait, what? How did I miss that? But doesn't... Doesn't your ice disappear too quickly? Uh-oh. Got it. Gotta break the shield. Gotta break the shield. Come on. No. Yes. I got hacks on. I got hacks on. Don't worry. Okay. Hacks are off. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. No. Here we go. Here we go. I missed. <laughs> Those overhead shots, man. I probably miss Two of every three. I hit them 30% of the time. 33% of the time. Oh boy, the curveballs. Got the hacks. If only the hacks guaranteed a perfect shot. But they don't. Unless they do? Wait a second. I thought they didn't. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Four seconds. They don't? Oh, okay. Wait. Go through it for the Geo damage buff. Right? Yes. I feel it. I feel more powerful. I see it. It gives like a visual indicator. Wait, your Ningguang is at like level Ascension level 70 at least then. That man. What the heck? Wait, I have to check. Is this done? Oh, one more time. Yeah, that's what I thought. Four more Dota Fortresses. 
All right, we got to do level three one more time. Let's get it. So if I use a taller, oh my gosh. If I use a taller character, it should be easier to hit those overhead shots, right? That's how it works. Fruit appeared, where is it? Was it on the fat man's side? I, I guess it was. Okay. All going on Fat Man's side. Oh! Why? Why did I get a curveball? <laughs> what? I got hit by it. Okay. I stole it. <laughs> oh, I got hacks on. Oh my gosh. No. Taller character. Should be easier, right? Got it. Hacks are on. I got this. Easy. Whoa, that curveball was insane. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> never mind. I probably miss more than just sixty six percent of them. I probably miss like <laughs> the majority of like 80% of them. I haven't been counting. How many Dota Fortresses has it been? That should be enough, right? Maybe one more? Let's see. 30 seconds. We should be able to take this down. Uh-oh. Unless. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got this. Oh wait, right, you can't jump and hit him. I keep forgetting. Curveball. Nice. Wow, oh, okay, hello, welcome. Hello again. E. What is with the E? I've seen the, the people type that before, right? Does that, does that mean something? What does E mean? E. All right, we're done. Ah, oh, I can now rest easy. Nothing is expiring, right? The only thing that was expiring in, um, in four hours is Kaboom Ball Combat. Ooh, I have to buy out the event shop. Get the name card. Very cute name card. Oh my. Why do I have 53 guides to freedom? Oh, oh, 84 guides to resistance. Wait a second. <laughs> e ha. E ha. Boats are made for transferring commodities back. There we go. And those that come across here <sighs> tend to stay a while. Calm. Is where many things come to sell. Thank you, Mr. Datman, for accompanying me through this. That was fun. This event's really fun. Now what? Your life is mine. I've done everything else. I think this might be a good time. This might be a good time to call it, folks. It's time to feed the dog in Liwe. This time, hopefully Fat Man does not scare off the dog again. I'm going to feed it before you come. What about your bounties and requests? <gasps> huh. 
crap. I did two bounties, right? I need to do one more. And the requests. I didn't even claim this one. <laughs> okay. A ruin hunter. Invulnerable to cryo and hydro. Takes greatly increased damage from claymore wielding characters. Nice. Very nice. That means we can use... Um... Every bounty is worth it. Yep. That means we can use Chongyun, Noel. Actually, no, Noel, Chongli. Big. Now Datman is gonna scare off the dog. Nah, the dog's fine, right? Uh oh. Yeah. All right, we have a bounty in this area. Can you do bounties in co-op? The fact that I accepted it means yes, right? Yes, cool. Wow. Uh-oh. Please tell me I have enough stamina. Make it only. Yes. There it is. First. Second. What the heck? Huh? Oh, the ley line from earlier. <laughs> I did it, but I didn't claim the reward, so it's still there. Oh, here it is. I thought it was a chest. They should really change the, um, the icon. I got debated. I thought a chest randomly appeared out of nowhere. Daisy. All right, where is this ruin hunter? There it is. Now they don't have increased HP, do they? I hope not. Twenty-four thousand sixty. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize you were coming, fat man, until I looked at the mini-map after <laughs> after everything was over. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You missed the party. You missed the party, man. I don't know why I don't have the teleport there. The teleport where? The teleport here? This waypoint? Wait, you haven't unlocked it? Or is it just not on your map? Wait, no, that doesn't... No. Because you use other people's teleport waypoints when you join their worlds. If you don't have it in your world, that doesn't matter, right? Hmm, that's strange. That's weird. What the heck? Or is that... Is that how it works? I wasn't zoomed in enough. Oh, <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you can't see any waypoints if you don't zoom in <laughs> far enough. <laughs> Aside from the Animo statues. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
That's fine. Uh, we could fight something else. What do you want to fight? I'll go fight something with you. I'm done with bounties. I'll catch up. Requests. Wait, am I done with bounties? No, I'm not. Wait, I only did... Just kidding, I have, n I have one more. I have one more. Okay, invulnerable to Electro and Geo. Takes crit damage more. Takes increased plunging attack damage. Time to take out the Animo. The Animo. Goodbye, Geo and Electro. You want to do plunging attacks? I'll take out Venti. And then I'll take out Kazuha. Here we go. Teleport to Bright Crown. Requests? Don't worry, I'm not going to forget about the requests. Animo slimes versus animo character. Uh, this way. Oh, there it is. More hillichurls. You can get away. One more. Where is it leading me? Up. Up we go. Oh, that's it. That was quick. Alright, now where is the boss? Oh, of course. It's all the way up on that cliff right there. Where that stork is. Where that crane. Let's kill it. Nice. Up here. Whoa, whoa. What? Huh? Wait, Diamond, where'd you go? <laughs> Did you get smited? Oh my gosh. Wait. <laughs> you got hit by that, right? <laughs> that was crazy. That Sison, or that Sison Mage. That attack range is crazy. You were across the entire, like, the, uh, the ravine. Uh, yet, the attack still made it. Wait, where is this thing? Oh, it's over here. It's hiding. In the brush? In the trees? Where? There's so many boars here. Oh, here it is. Alright, here we go. Plenty of attacks. Wait, can I hold E? There we go. Crush into the wind. One with wind and clouds. Oh boy. Follow the wind. Oh boy. We don't have a we have oh wait no, I have Venti. Please don't die. Time for takeoff. Here we go. Fallen leaves. Adorn my Very nice. Very nice. And that's the last of the bounty. Thank you for your help. And now don't have to worry about missing out on these rewards. Now all I have to do is the requests. Travel to Don Winery. Time to go. <gasps> Grab that. Ooh, wait. 
But there are pine trees here at Don Winery. I didn't... Wait a second. If you're in need of pine wood, you can also come to Don Winery to farm for them. Where else? Don Winery, Monstadt. And these are all really easily accessible. They're just all around the building. Connor? Oh, you can't talk to NPCs in co-op. Right, right, right. Next. Mm. Alfred. I got you, your Cecilia's. Goodbye. Next. Okay. This guy needs steaks? What did, what? What did he ask for? <gasps> Crystal flies. Okay, okay, okay. We can't mess this up. We need these. I'm running low on these. I only have like 20 something. That one got away, but that's okay. Why is that one up so high? Oh no. Okay. Another one. Nice. Oh, that one flew away. No. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. up high. Wait, this is a really steep cliff. Can I climb up this? We'll find out. Yes. Yes, I can. I'm running low on these. I've gotta oh, I gotta make some more of those. But even if I didn't have enough, I think there is an item that lets you cook on the go. Isn't there? What's the gadget called again? Isn't there a gadget like that? Or do you have to craft it? Oh, I think you have to make it first. Oh wait, is it here? No. I think you have to craft it, right? Adepti Sealer's Stove? Seekers? Yeah, I don't have that. I don't think. Let me go make some more of those kebabs or whatever. So that I'll have them for the next request. And let me make that stove too. Um... This is Diona's specialty? Yo, let's make 10 of them. 
It uses salmon and pepper. Very nice. Wait. Man, this is the longest you've ever streamed. Has it actually been? It's been it's been three hours forty eight minutes. Maybe it has. Can we hit four hours? That's like a sixth of my day. That's crazy. Can we hit four hours? Hmm, maybe. It's because of that keyboard content, man. That took like two hours already. Just putting on keycaps, admiring the keycaps. I didn't even do a typing test yet. I still have to do that. Making your average is around two hours. Hello, Louis. Yeah, it is. I think I would say my average is two hours. Yeah. That's accurate. But it's not like I haven't sh ever streamed for this long, right? I think I've streamed for this long on certain days, like spread out. Like sometimes I would stream in the afternoon and as well as, as at night. So like two separate streams worth two hours each. And stream with a typing test. Hey, not a bad idea. I'll probably do that. Give me a second. I still need to do one more task. Oh, right. I needed to make that stove thingy. Wagner. How do you do? Let me collect my mystic enhancement ores. If only. Claim all, please. Mahoyo. Make it happen. Okay. It should be in here. Here it is. Adapti Seeker's Stove. Is this a reusable item? This isn't like a, a consumable, right? You just need to make one of them. And that's it. Right? I hope so. We can test it out. Does it say it? Uh, it's not permanent. Oh, no. If you enter into combat nearby, it will be destroyed. <gasps> what? Man. Come on. Why is it not permanent? I guess if it was permanent, you would no one would use the uh these things. <laughs> Alright, let's go feed the dog. I think that's enough. We did all the bounties requests. We finished Kaboom Ball. There's nothing left that we have to do before the game resets on Monday. We're not going to quite hit four hours, it looks like, but close enough. <laughs> there we go. All right, dog fed. Task completed. And now we are going to switch over to a typing test. So we're going to switch over to just chatting for like Osmantis two seconds. Wine tastes <laughs> the same as I remember. All right, Zhongli. Can we take out like who's who's a uh, Chongyi doesn't really talk that much. I want to listen to the music. All right, folks, it's time. It's been a blast. Typing test to end stream. Thank you for hanging out with me. This is one of the longer streams because, well, I started earlier. Crazy. Started at like 9 o'clock PM, but I usually start at like 10 to 11. Anyways. We're gonna end things with a little typing test. To quiet the spirits, so let's energies. actually make Genshin a little bit quieter. I'm going to enable something else. I'm gonna turn on my other mic. So give me a second. Okay, my other mic is on. So you're gonna be able to hear the keyboard sounds really clearly. 
All right. We're going to end it with a little... We're going to end it with a little typing test. Here we go. Wrong window. I was muted. That's awkward. Well, there. <laughs> God dang it. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> well, uh, what, what was I saying? Um, well, there's, there's a typing test. I don't know how it sounded, but I think it sounded a bit muter. Like, uh, one of the things people, one of the reasons why people ch change their keycaps on their keyboards is to get a different sound profile because the keycaps can actually change how your keyboard sounds and that's what I was saying while, while I was muted anyways um yeah yeah thank you for tuning in <laughs> again <laughs> time to go to sleep everyone good night take care of yourselves I'll be back tomorrow like always and well take care of yourselves okay drink some water here i spilled water on myself how do you guys drink your water by the way whenever i drink water out of this water bottle or water in general out of a bottle i waterfall it so i don't actually make contact with my mouth to the the uh, the bottle and sometimes I get water on myself as a result. Anyways, goodbye. Good night. <laughs> uh, bye-bye. I gulp my water. Ah, clearly. I can't gulp my water. How do you gulp your water? You have to make mouth to bottle contact for that. I can't do that. All right. Bye-bye. 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 Bye bye, 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 bye bye,